So roast chicken is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, and when I was in Portugal last summer, they do it a little differently in a way that the chicken's flattened. It's not like the American style where it's a nice roast. So we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna start with some butter. We're gonna put about half a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper in there. I've got oregano over here, two teaspoons. And then we're gonna put some paprika again. Be generous here, so I'll put about a tablespoon. Three cloves of garlic. You see the flavors that are gonna be here are very, very typical of a European roast chicken. It's just the sizing will be different, and you'll see it'll bring a nice uh, caramelized color to the whole chicken, and it'll be just much crispier. So once that's nicely chopped, we're just gonna add that to the butter here. And then we're just gonna mash everything together. This is basically what you call a compound butter. Uh, to make it a real compound butter, people usually put it in the fridge and then they can use it on, on toast and stuff. Here we're just gonna use it really to just build flavor. So you just got a whole chicken. Get some kitchen shears and we're gonna remove that backbone. It's basically the spine of the chicken. Once that's done, you'll see it'll be much easier. To tear it apart with your hands and just flatten it like that. You take the compound butter and just gonna put it right in there so it'll help really the skin nice and bubble and get nice and crispy actually. So we'll do that all over the chicken. We're just gonna massage um, some salt onto our chicken skin, maybe about half a tablespoon. And then we're just gonna transfer it to a pan and then we're gonna fry it off on two sides. So I got some light olive oil in a pan here that's gone really hot. What you're gonna do is just gonna take chicken and we're gonna put it first skin side down into the oil. And we're gonna cook it for two minutes on either side. So after two minutes, we're just gonna flip it and put it on the other side. So now we're gonna do two minutes on this side as well. And before putting it in the oven, what we're gonna do is use some lemons to poke holes all over it. All right, after two more minutes, we're just gonna put the whole thing onto our lemons with the juices, of course, because that's all the butter and all the flavors in there. And then we're just gonna put it in our oven uh, for about 30 minutes at about 400 Fahrenheit. So after 30 minutes, you'll see that your chicken is nice and hot. Careful not to burn yourself. And it's basically running clear. And that's how you know it's cooked. So you can use it, you can use a thermometer, check the entire interior temperature. But here to me it looks nice and firm and nice and cut. So we're just gonna let it rest. So after about five minutes of resting, we're just gonna transfer the whole chicken onto a board like this. The way I love to serve this is just to really chop it up. Start with the legs. You'll see it runs nice and clear, so it's perfectly cooked. And then we're gonna do the same thing right down the middle. And then take the wings off. And one great way to serve this is just with a little bit of nice and fresh herb. Put that with our chicken here just to brighten up the whole dish. Give that butter a nice compliment. Then I'm gonna finish off with just black pepper on top of the whole thing. A little bit of salt on top. Then I'm gonna take a red chili, remove all the seeds that are in there. Chop it up really quickly. And we're just gonna make that a little bit fiery, put it all like that, and it's just a fantastic dish that the whole family will enjoy. And it's so good. Nothing stays the same except for all these tricks. Your tricks are all the same. Oh, I know I fucked up all the time. The fucked up is a sign.